I'll start with a maintenance update for you all. Uh, we've done countywide tree and debris cleanup. Also a lot of pothole patching including Route 159 which is on our paving schedule for this year. Um, cleared a lot of low hanging limbs and brush from recent storms. Uh, we're boom axing Route 770 starting at Route 850. We've been adding stone and grading our gravel roads including Oak Hill which will have more work to come on that one this spring. Um, we have got 12 bridges on I-64 that are part of a repainting schedule. Uh, this is going to go from April of this year to August 30th is when it should be completed. Again, they're all on I-64. This runs between uh, the 269 area of um, Triangle out to the Lomore Interchange here. And uh, finally, hoping things are getting a little bit more back to normal. We are having our uh, six-year plan public hearing for the Stanton District. It is actually going to be in person this year. It will be on May the 9th at Blue Ridge Community College starting at 4 o'clock. I'll take any questions or comments the board has. Board member, questions or comments? Mr. Griffin. On 60, uh, coming out of Westwood, coming towards Covington. You've got a guardrail there outside those S turns. Last year you had three wrecks there and you had to replace that guardrail. This year you've already had one. And it's a square block there and it's a bullseye target. Y'all need to change the way that guardrail comes around that curve or move it on up higher or something. You're going to get somebody killed there. Mm -hmm. Hit the end of it. Hitting the very end of it. Is it on the eastbound or westbound? It's it's on the coming into town. It's right there in that curve. I mean, it's it's where your uh, I think you store gravel yeah. there in that lot, and the trucks pull in right. there a lot. Yep. Across from the garage. I know. Right. Where are you talking about? You might need to take that up a little higher because right there it's. You, well, that was four wrecks because one car went over the hill trying to miss it. That's all I got. Any other questions or comments, Mr. Bill? Thanks for fixing the guardrail. I got that. Good. Okay. I'm curious. The last treatment you did on the interstate from Covington and down Island Fork Bridge, whoever did that did one real good job that is just smooth and slick as it can be was that was that put in there for sealer or, or was it trying to correct some of the water problems we had the the area that was between exit 16 that runs <clears throat> excuse me all the way to island ford that's on both sides where the yeah. median barrier is all of that is repaving but we did a lot of prep work in advance to address the standing water that had been in there um, there have been some settlement. That, that hadn't been paved since the project was done back, gosh, close to 20 years ago. That pavement lasted a really long time, but we had we had some drainage issues in there, and uh, I, w I appreciate you recognizing that. There was a lot of staff that did a lot of prep work to make sure that that got addressed. So I've been happy when I've gone through there the last couple of times it's been raining. A couple of you passed that new type material y'all put down where you don't paint anymore, but you glue that. Line yes. The asphalt. Yeah. You got a few of them coming up, but except for that, the rest yep. of it's really good. Ride it's really good. It's smooth. <clears throat> Anyone else? I've got a couple of things. Let's go. Um, the first one I have is over at right before you um, go into Eagle's Nest. Um, there's some trees that's hanging over the road. They may have fallen by now. This was Sunday when I was out that way for church. And, uh, but there's, there's several, they're, they're not really big trees, but they're hanging and it's not gonna take anything for those to come down. Um, and a couple of them is right there on some lines. And there's already issues in that area with service, with telephone service. 
and someone said that some of, some of the lines there are, you know, with the phone service as well. So we definitely don't want them to have any more problems. If, if they're within a certain distance of the line itself, what we normally do is get in contact with okay. the utility company. So I'll okay. still have I'll still have our folks go out there and look at it. And that, if we that can, that might be a help yeah. them maybe to get yeah. front We can certainly do that. On the ball to do something with that. Um, the, the other one I have is I've noticed probably in the last two months. I know that this has been a concern for years and years. The bluff there between Chipper Errands and Armand Trout Road. Um, there are more and more rocks. Anytime it rains, it can be a, a small rainstorm, it can be a wind. Um, there's rocks coming down, but now they're, they're just not the small rocks. They're, they're large rocks. Um, when I was coming up, I think it was last Wednesday or Thursday, there was a truck behind me, and he stopped and actually moved them because I went around them because I knew it would just destroy my car, but he stopped and moved them out of the road. And some of those are in the turn. So, you know, when you, you go through, all of a sudden, the, there it is. And you really, if something's coming, that person can't go because, go over because they're going to go in the creek. And if you go over, you're going to go into the bank or into that ditch. Um, and I know that, um, you know, years ago, we had said something about like a safety study all the way through there. And I don't know if that bank, something like that can be done, but it definitely, something needs to be done with that embankment there because it's it's not getting any better in all the years I've worked up there. So, so that, that's the only thing I have. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I'm going to say the wall there at Honda, uh, there is material that's coming down larger and larger. And it has been, I guess, I mean, it made Facebook a couple weeks ago. I, I was, saw a comment. So um, it's, it should definitely be on the radar. There, If we can make some plans to get it in front of somebody or in the six-year plan or to the state, I don't know, but to put fencing or something. There, there's, It's to the point now where it's starting to scare a lot of people in the area. I've had comments. Um, multiple comments in the last probably two or three months and there's nowhere to go if some if there would be a significant rock slide then there's not much of a guardrail or an embankment there you're going to be on the, the walking trail so i would like to see something done there if possible anyone else thank you miss hammond thank you